Okay, so today I'm just going to do one level to know which one that is. This one. If I remember correctly. Yeah, I already... Yes. I, I should have everything I need. I don't know how complicated this level is going to be. It's... It's going to be for the second to last big star, so it's probably going to be more difficult. And so far it does look like that, so I don't know how long I'm going to take. Even if it doesn't take an hour, I'm going to end the video after being this level, because I have a feeling it's going to take a little bit of time to finish it. So here we finally go, we're going back to the train. And I guess I'm going to finally see who the VIP is. I had several guesses in my last episode, and they're probably all wrong because this game loves to surprise me. Like with that stupid shy guy in that one car. This one. If you let him see you, he actually beats you up a little, like five hits. I can't attack him until the third door, it's so weird. I hate that he comes back, because the second one's more tricky. I don't know that Toad's okay. I mean, I already rescued him. I assume he's still fine. I don't know why the shy guy comes back. That's just not good design. Why would you have the shy guy come back? Morning. These are just fuzzies. Really easy. Seems I have to find a key somewhere. Great. I hope this isn't hard to find. I want to beat this level again. Oh no, don't tell me it was the shunned guy. Oh. oh, what was that? I saw something. I thought I saw something. Was there something in the middle? I mean, right here? I thought I saw something. Probably was nothing. Yeah, I probably imagined it. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait! Oh, I totally saw that! Oh, oh, oh! It was the shunned guy! I knew it! He just went under another box! How did I get him? How do I get him? And what is that cloud about? I see a cloud in my head. I don't know. How? What? How do I sneak up on it? I tried it. Okay. I, I was close enough the first time, I just didn't know. You're not very heroic, you're scared all the time, though, okay? Oh, okay. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, 
Yeah, for a moment I thought I saw like a shy guy have a straw and then it disappeared. So. Who's that thing? Turns out it was. Just swint back to another box. I can actually go over here. I didn't know that. Is that what he meant? Is it possible to fall to train and get a game over? That's what I'm wondering. Of course, I don't know if it would give you a game over if it actually lets you fall off the train, but I would assume so, knowing how this game is. Like, I don't know, Mario would fall. Oh no, those guys do. Just fall or get crushed or something. Don't know why it should be over here. Use second one on the paratrooper. That's why I'm doing that.
Yeah, this is probably why I'm only doing this level on this episode. Oh, oh no, it's not. Okay. <laughs> I was wanting to see if this one would be insta kill like the other side guys. But I guess not. I wonder what happens if we get rid of these. Oh, he talks! I want to see what he says, though. Okay, I'll see what he says. So I'm gonna throw the hat. Yes, yes! The hat! I remember the hat. He's gonna run now, probably. Oh, wait. No? Usually he runs after it says the performance exhausting. There's other song thrill, guys. In case the performance exhausting changes the messages. Changes what they say. It's probably other ones. Yeah, there's other ones. Okay, that was better. It has to be for that barrel thing I was hitting. And I was like, oh, there has to be... Oh, Okay. Oh, because it's going to fly away once I remove the tape, that's why. <laughs> he still had to introduce himself. Yep. So I have, oh, I have to get through there, though. Also, when I defeat one, it would defeat all of them. Do I really have to fight every individual one now? So annoying. But the Sombrero guy shouldn't come back because I got rid of him over there. Yeah. It was it was the one it was the one over there. Gonna see if this works. Yeah, I got rid of two. <laughs> Wish I had a good time like that all the time. Yeah, it looks like I have to get rid of every individual. Dumb. In the train works, it was just one more. Because the problem is if they hit me, I lose the ability to unfurl stuff. I have to literally get rid of all of them. Who made that rule there? In train works, it was literally just... Just one I had to fight.
I could have probably gone with just one year. To be honest. I hate paratroopers, I hate those. stupid card system. I'm afraid I'm going to run out of jump because I won't be able to defeat the paratroopers. Because the stupid card system. That's literally the only flaw with this game is the card system. That's literally it. Can someone mod this game to have a normal system where you're always guaranteed to jump in a hammer like in Mario Luigi games? I would love that. I'm so glad I figured it out so easily, by the way, thanks to the crowd, man. Yes, we're going up here. I see them, but they're not moving? Oh, it it's another one of these. Yes, spike. So probably get rid of this one. Okay, I'm going to see if he says anything different when he's not exhausted. I'm getting rid of this one because I don't, and I encounter an enemy nearby, it's going to appear. Looks like the same thing. Also, I don't think I caught all everything that the boomerang bro said, but <laughs> here is Umbra. Please throws the hat when he attacks. That was from that's from Sticker Star. Actually, in Sticker Star, I've just encountered them by themselves. They're highly likely to just run away, apparently. I barely got one to throw the hat at me. This is a little different here. Yeah, this is different here. How? Wait, how is just throwing the hat once exhausting anyway? It's so funny. Just throwing the hat once is too exhausting. Or too exhausting for him. Okay, there's a save block there, so I'm worried. Oh, I don't know those would be there. Also, why did Mario fall down? That makes no sense. How did he fall down the ground like that? Do I literally not move? Like, seriously, what do I do here? I should have gone that save block, but it was behind some other enemies, and I was thinking, oh, it's probably for something up ahead. Not behind me. Like, what am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to wait, or should I move? Like, I don't really know. Looks like I probably have to move. Just worried about instant kills. <laughs> Okay, not an insta kill. 
print whatever. Yeah, I have to move. I actually hit the top of the plus pad to see if Huey would come out, and all I did was make Mario stand up. In case you wanted to know what button I hit. I'm like, oh, okay. Eight snippets. I'll probably knock out most of them, if not all of them. Oh, good, that was great. Okay, I just needed two of those. Hope it returns the card if I don't use it, by the way. I don't know if it does, but I would really hope so. Now I know why those toes were frozen. <laughs> Oh, you're going to go at the top. Oh, is that the key for the case? Trunk key. I mean the trunk. Have to go back to the trunk. Kinda wish I actually did go that say block. I'm worried. Um, the reason I'm recording so late again is because of the scheduled power outages earlier. It's past 4 now, so there shouldn't be a power outage anymore at all. It's just... I'm still worried anyway. Too bad we don't have a generator. Ooh, lost them. I might have to go back up, I'm not sure. There was a save lock up there. I, kinda, I really want to hit that save lock up there. Okay, that was... Oh! I, thought, I really thought that was a mole that would attack me. I mean, I don't know. Also, I can... Insta kill the spikes now. That's really useful. That's really convenient, and I want to save the cards. I'm glad it was just a rescue toad. He's taking the lid with him. Wow. Oh, I see Goombas and Shy Guys, and there's a Captain Toad sitting with. I mean, sorry, Rescue Toad sitting with them. Not sure I'm supposed to go into that cool. Um, we're always supposed to enter from here. I'm really happy to hit the save log in case some insta kill event happens. Oh! They're not going to attack me? Wait. I don't know who to talk to first. I don't want to miss dialogue. What? <laughs> yeah, have a little, have a tiny little Goomba here, right? Go for the tiny little Goomba. Are, are these guys okay? They really don't like train, yet they're on it. what the quirk is for, right? Thank you for making that information clear. I was wondering what the quirk was going to be for. It looks like I have to put in the train or something. Mr. Harry. I'm not going to talk to Toad yet in case that's going to make something happen. Oh, so the VIP was Larry. Oh, well.
I seriously didn't think Larry was the VIP because it wouldn't make sense. A coupling just gave us the star like that? Like... Like that? When did he get in trouble with Bowser for that? Okay, save these for last. Well, they're not all... What are they gonna do now? What happens if I do? <laughs> I wanna know. I hit a save block, just in case. Is he gonna try to suck me? Is he gonna try to suck me like the like the one in Port Prisma that in the at the beginning that wanted me to come closer and attempted to suck me, but he didn't have a straw. The one that revealed why they wear masks. Oh yeah, he's gonna try to suck us, isn't he? It is an insta-kill event, that's probably what the save block is for. But I want to see what happens anyway. Probably not. Insta-kill. They, they would not be that cruel in color splash, right? Right? Or maybe this is a good shy guy. That would be really cool because I do love shy guys. I like the ones that are nice. I'd be really cool if this was a good guy. I was about to say, well, not all of them are bad guys. They're just a part of the same species and they can't help that. They're not all bad guys. Then I was like, or am I speaking too soon? Or attack the kitchen. Okay. So the question is now: Are these going, are they going to attack me or not? Guys upstairs. I mean, they do seem fine. Also, I see a rescue toad right there. That heart there is looking suspicious, though. I don't know. I guess it's probably before the boss fight. Maybe this is the trigger for the boss fight. Oh, this shy guy seems cool. Like... You don't have to be. The the ones in the parallel universe in Vortex Island, for example, obviously are not in Bowser's army. And they then they were actually nice shy guys, which were was really neat to see. And they were clearly not in Bowser's army. I wouldn't want to be controlled like that. That's really sad. No! I feel so bad now. <laughs> I mean, at least we're going to be a Bowser eventually. I mean, I have just two stars left. This makes me feel bad for... for attacking so many of them. I mean... You would assume most of them just want a to gain something from being so evil. And they're not being forced to. That's what I always thought, but this shy guy is saying something different here. That's very interesting. I 
I would hope not because you seem okay. I wonder what is keeping him in. I mean, what's keeping them in Bowser's army if they don't like it? That's what I'm really wondering now. If they don't agree with this, or if they don't really like enjoy this, or really want to get whatever comes out of it, what what's keeping them stuck like that? Well, at least when we like destroy Bowser. <laughs> They will be free, I guess? Wasn't expecting that. Okay. It's nice seeing some friendly shy guys again. You don't see them that often in this game. You don't see them that often at all, to be honest. Okay, so I do have to jump onto the coal. That heart means... Oh, he came back! I was like, wait, he didn't introduce himself. That was my first thought. My second thought is, why can't I move? I was literally touching the joystick to go to the heart. And then he just comes back. Look how fast he is. Yeah, he, he completely forgot to introduce himself. I am so glad these guys didn't attack me because I need to save the cards. Uh, for a moment, I thought everyone's gonna be bad on this train. And I was thinking, oh, is that Toad in trouble? Turns out not. He was perfectly fine. Oh no! So <laughs> see, why well, I have so many fire flowers. Actually, you can't see that, but I have like how many fire flowers do I have? I have so many. I just got really like. I got kind of paranoid of not having fire flowers. I have like over 10 or something. These, by the way, will insta kill you, especially since there's three. They take way too much health to block them. So the fire flowers are mandatory. And because I don't know if these are any different, I'm gonna do three in case. I just don't want to take any risks. So also, that's probably why they have a save block there in case. In case you're done for, because don't have any fire flowers, and they're like, oh, can I flee? And then the game's like, nope, you're not allowed to flee, they're going to insta kill you. Oh, they're not going to insta kill me this time. Look, look, I was actually prepared this time. Just have like a whole bunch of fire flowers here. I don't need anymore. Oh, too bad I used up the spring attacks. These are technically six enemies because of the whole sack thing. Not too good. Okay, that should be good. Yeah, I don't know like what their problem is if they are actually like doing this because they love to or because they're being forced to, but I'm going to attack them anyway because they're in the way and I hate the cold guys now. Also I'm out of red paint. Hope that won't be a problem. Yeah, it was definitely Larry. Why did he give us a star for free? Uh, Larry was one of my guesses, but then I looked back at the footage and I was like, but he gave it a star, it couldn't have been him, right? And I guess I was right the first time. Yeah, right, Hugh? It's so weird. He literally gave us a star. Also, he did not re his voice did not remind me of Larry either, or Kukulain. Guess I have to put a cork in the train engine now. So why did you give me the star? Yeah, 
like the boss gives him star. So weird. Probably not. It's probably a bunch of fire breath everywhere. Okay, what's he gonna do? <sighs> I'll just wait until some kind of cue happens when I need a quirk or something. Uh, usually at the beginning I use fire flowers, by the way. Come so uh, I usually get X on them, but unfortunately I don't have any. I don't have any red paint. I want to see if this thing this battle screen give me a one up Yes, there's a one up mushroom. Okay, I just have to Okay. okay. Yeah, I forgot. I always forget to get the one of mushrooms. I don't know why I forget so easily. They restore pain, apparently. Yep. So if you get a game or a bell, they're not going to save you. That's what I'm thinking. And yes, I have I have stronger items, but just I need to paint them. Oh, look at that! He's putting the hearts me. Okay, this has to be when I use the cork. This has to be when I use the cork. This is when I use the cork because look, his health was stored to a thousand. This has to be when I use the cork. That's the cue. Yeah, you said it. Yes, yeah, stop that shy guy. Must I have to wait for him to get off? No, don't hurt. I I definitely have to wait for him to get off. I don't want to use any too powerful. I want to save it for Larry. He seems to have a lot of health. Uh, so you can see what I meant about this being the only episode I do today. So I guess that wasn't the key to use the torque. It doesn't look like it, to be honest. Went too slow there. I wasn't paying attention. Because he's on, I mean, he's on top of it right now, so yeah. I wouldn't expect that to be the cue for the cork. I just don't want to do it too soon or anything, obviously. Usually it gives you a cue, like he'd say something. Oh no, don't be scared! Star block that. I knew this fight would be harder because we're nearing the end of the game. I saw something like this coming. Oh, there's a cold guy. I just noticed. Oh man, dude. Screw you, we're putting another cold guy there. It's, it's insta kill if I don't get him. I'm worried about not getting him. It's literally insta kill if you don't just if you don't get rid of the coal that the coal guys have. Oh, I think this for a moment when I didn't when I saw it not reach him, I was so worried. I was like, oh come on game, you're going to you have to let me reach him, you know, else it's game over if I don't get the pull.
That was like way too many to get rid of. And at once, to be honest. Okay, he's jump. He jumps there. Now don't give me the cold guy. I guess if I run out of jumps, I can always use the... Battle Spin. Okay, I have to keep them staying toad. I hated that cool guys are insta-kill. Stop bringing those cold guys back. That might not be enough, but I Oh wait, maybe? Okay. Oh, I missed that. Well, I can still get him a few times. Okay. But they're probably gonna do the, the heart thing. them all out because then it doesn't give me much of a chance to use the mushroom does it Are the stupid flying enemies could be fine the paratrooper stack stopped showing up. And I'm too low on health to use the third one. Maybe it'll be fine. Maybe it'll be fine. It'll probably it'll probably be fine. I know how he attacks now. All the paratroopers not accidentally stumble into those shy guys. Wait. Well, let me do the other cards if I end up jumping into the spiky thing. To reset this and to rearrange the cards I have because I didn't expect a battle like this. All the other battles didn't work this way, so I really didn't expect. This. I might have to reset this and come back with a bunch of iron boots and stuff to make it easier to actually get rid of all of them. Oh, lets me use the other cards if I end up jumping into those. Okay, good. 
didn't need the other one. It does it doesn't do anything in case it's going to restore it. That was just in case. How long are you going to take to move, Toad? I, I have to do I have to wipe them all out three times. And if not, he goes all the way back to the start. That's why I might have to reset. I wonder if the hurl hammers can fit can hit flying enemies in this game too. There's a little there because of the stupid stack thing. I don't know the whole hammers can fit can, can hit flying enemies in this game. Doesn't tell you. Well I'm running out of cards anyway to use to have this stupid system. Nope, it can this game is a point. I think Sticker Star lets you hit them with Pearl Hammer if they're in the air. This might be when I use the cork now. Or something. Maybe I should have used it earlier to prevent all that? I don't know. Maybe that's. Maybe I use the cork now. Whoa. I think this is when I use the cork. It's not painted enough. Well, how do I even have to slow? We're going to have to see if it still works.
I tried to get the one-up mushroom. I should have also grinded out some coins a little bit earlier. I thought I would have enough, but I clearly didn't. Yes, okay. Thank goodness. I guess I guessed right. <laughs> Oh, it's a different attack. Good thing I did the mushroom. Okay, now I think I can just beat him up all I want to. With super powerful cards and stuff. That I don't think I've ever used before yet. Oh, he's weaker than I thought he was, okay. He seemed to have a lot of health at first. Great. Got full health. Okay, that's still blocked. That's still blocked. This is good. This is good. <laughs> this is good. I'm really happy with this. We don't need to reset. It was really difficult. Oh, it was really difficult. But I managed to pull it off of the cards I have. And whenever I replay this game, I'm going to specifically make sure to have a lot of multiple iron jumps and things like that so I could get the flying enemies and the spiky helmeted shy guys at the same time. I'm still going to use big ones. <laughs> oh, I could spare another mushroom. It's too bad I ran out of red paint. Also, next time I'll actually tell myself Really remind myself to stock up on one ups because every single time I stock up my arms, I always forget the one ups. Every time, forget the one ups. After this, maybe I could go and buy some for once. But yeah, at this point in the game, we're mostly going to want these big items instead of small ones. Also, make sure to have a lot of the multi ones where you can do multiple jumps at once and were multiple hammers at once. That also is super helpful. I can I can just go with this, this is fine. I'll use only three this time. This might be overkill. Oh wait, maybe not because I can't color the fire flowers anymore. Would have been overkill if I still had the red paint. <laughs> Probably. Looks like it. The end. <laughs> Where are you, Larry? I was hoping he would just fly off to the distance because that's what a hammer does, I think. <laughs> Yeah, you did, didn't you? <laughs> and I did it first try. I didn't, didn't, didn't have to reset at all. I am so happy with this. I feel that for once I did something right on the first go in this game. This train level was so awesome. It was kind of sad hearing that with the shy guy, though. I guess when we destroy Bowser, we're going to free them. So I'll be. I'll be, I'm going to be I'm going to be pretty excited for what's going to be coming up next. I won't be looking at that today because this is going to be the only episode. But I will definitely continue on this tomorrow because I'm super excited for what comes after this big star. Wait, what? What does, what does he Oh what he eats? Well, at least the VIP was another toad, right? At least, right? Um, at first I was thinking, oh, if it's another toad, it's going to be so lame. I mean, I, you don't get me wrong here, I love toads. It's just sometimes I just want, you know, some something different, you know? Something, that, like, unique or different or something like that. So... At least the VIP wasn't just another toad. 
I'm pretty happy about that too. Even though I would have never expected one of the Kooplings to just hand us over a star like that. Oh yes, we're about to reach the final destination. We're going to ride on top of the train now. That's pretty awesome. This train level turned out to be a lot better than I was expecting after having a little bit of trouble at the start of this level. Oh, and there's a beautiful sunset too! Yeah, that's so cool. You know, I love steam. I do love steam trains. It's so awesome. So I'm so happy that we have a train like this in the game. Yes. It only took like... Oh, oh. 56, 57 minutes. <laughs> it's almost an hour. Great pretty sunset. Oh, you! I didn't expect you to come out. You had fun! <laughs> Should be a big paint star around somewhere. So this is different because usually after we defeat the boss, we get the big paint star immediately after. But instead, we actually have to look for it after fighting Larry. That's also an interesting change that I like. Yes. I just I just love this little area right. I mean, the sunset looks so beautiful. Yes. Very calm and peaceful too. Um, usually in this game, no music is a bad sign. However, this actually feels calm and peaceful for once. So maybe, maybe nothing's going to go wrong anymore. Maybe this is going to be all right. We did just fight a boss, and we still need a big paint star. So I'm going to trust this game that it's going to be all right. It does run like new. Please keep it running. Don't decommission it. Please don't let it be this the last run. I really like this train. Please don't let this be the last run. Come on. Hasn't this train proven itself by now? Yes! He's going to keep the train running. Yes! 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 They're going to keep the train! This is so wonderful! Yes! Even the train is happy. Wouldn't mind that. I'm really happy to hear it's still running too. Oh, I see a thwomp. What's up with that thwomp in the background? Look at those stars. I mean, look how pretty this is. Despite the thwomp in the back, it's so pretty. I love scenes like this. And by the way, this reminds me, next month I'm going to see a meteor shower for the very first time in my life. I'm also going to see a shooting star for the first time in my life. So this is the perfect occasion to see something very pretty like this in Color Splash. There's a shoot star right now! I mean, in my world, of course. That was very, but that was still very nice to see Color Splash. Thank you for that. I love seeing the stars. Wonder what is wish. Ah, yes. There it is! Yes! The shooting star was the star. Of course you will. Hope he lets me move around a little bit more. I want to explore the rest of the area. Okay, good. Well, I mean, I guess it's only a few more things to see. Starry nighttime skies, that's easy. 
Yeah, I'm going to go to the observatory to see my very first June star along with the meteor shower. So yeah, it's perfect occasion this game to see a June star and stuff. I just wish the thwomp would stop doing that thing. Oh well. It's still very nice. And look, that's another shooting star. I hope when I come back here, Thwomp won't be there anymore. I like it a lot better than Thwomp being annoying over there. It's nice having a part in the game for once that when the music, when there's no music, it's actually a good thing, not a bad thing. Because usually when the music stops, it's a bad sign. As I've learned this game. Oh, I actually restored all the colorless spots the first time around, which is something I think is new. Because usually I don't find all of them the first time. Oh, painted the bone creature thing. What's that supposed to mean? Oh. It looks like Hooktail from Thousand Year Door, which I never played, by the way. Hope that's not going to become an enemy. Didn't expect the skeleton to be painted and come back to life. I hope that dragon's a good guy, not a bad guy. Okay, this is it. We're going to see the orange big paint star's memories. And after this, I have just one big paint star left, which means I'm going we're going to be seeing Bowser again soon, and I I don't know if I'll be ready for the boss fight because this card system. I wish it would give me more inventory for the cards and stuff like that. I'll definitely try to max out my coins the way my cousin did before the fight because I feel I'm going to have to be using the the bonus spin thing a lot. And I'm going to try to be wise what cards I choose, including the wild mushrooms. Of course, naturally, I hope I'm going to beat Bowser the first time around because in Sticker Star, that's exactly what it did. I beat him on the first go. And the sticker system was a little bit worse than the card system because in the sticker system, the um, different stickers take up different amount of space instead of all of them taking up the same amount of space like the cards. Oh yeah, also before we fight Bowser, I'm probably going to complete everything else in the game. I'm going to fill in all the colored spots. I'm going to see what I can do about the museum. Because once I drop up some cards at the museum, I'll also have some space for good ones that I can use against Bowser. And I probably won't, but maybe I'll try the Rock, Paper, Scissors games. I probably won't, but the other stuff I'll try to remember to do first. Yes, I'll see what I can do about the other colorless spots that I've left behind. Hopefully... The shy bandit won't take any more of those because then it's going to be kind of a pain. Alright, so now we're going to see this star's memories. And this might finally reveal Bowser's plan. I'm really curious what this one has got for us. Oh, just before Army attacked poor Prisma. What happened to Bowser? It's not for your fame part. Whoa! This is scary too! Oh, the poor, the poor big stars! And the poor toads! I know what happened to them. So, so terrible. Oh, the airships. The airships are never a good sign in this world. 
In Mario's world, airships are never a good sign. And then there they there they came. And they attacked poor Prisma, unfortunately. Starting all this. So he took the black paint from the fountain? Didn't expect that. Yeah, why was there black paint in the fountain? That's the same question I'm asking. Black paint is super toxic, apparently. Well, sorry, Huey, as I was talking about earlier. I do need, I do want to finish off some things this game before before the final boss fight. So, I guess it's for the green one. Interesting. I wonder why Jay chose green to be the final big star. Maybe since it usually matches Bowser's shell? I saw it till on the roof. <laughs> the one with the sunglasses. I remember him. Mustard Cafe. I actually forgot I could do this until my cousin did it. You can hammer the stars to get paint. I love all the confetti. all the banners before the final boss. I'm more interested in just getting the painted spots done and I'm sorry the colorless spots done and dropping off some cards at the museum in preparation for the final boss fight. That's pretty much all I'm going to do. That's probably all I'm going to do. Oh yeah and get more coins too. That's probably all that I'm going to do before the final boss. And it looks like these toads just say the same thing. So happy I was able to enjoy a train level. That was really fun. Really fun level before the final big paint star. Before needing to do the levels. They're all they're the green levels. And for some reason, I never fixed that right there. I don't know what's up. Me never fixing that. I when I was rewatching one of my videos, I s noticed that. It's like, wait, had I left that there the entire time? Oh yeah, there's also something else I need to figure out. The the magnifying glass is stuck in the in the ice. I tried the ice pick and it didn't work. I don't know what I need to do there. I would assume it would be mandatory to get it because on the cover art it shows me using the magnifying glass to magnify a tiny pipe and I, I mean, I would assume I have to fix him as well. Just drop off some cards right now. I haven't been back here since it was introduced to me, by the way. Well, unless you count my cousin coming here. Oh, they have a sound gallery. Okay. Going to explore this area for the first time too. This will be a this will be a nice way to end this episode.
to create art when I donate cards. Jumping hammer. I want to save the huge cards because of Bowser. I want to use the ones that are huge on him now. Oh, they paint them automatically. Okay, I was wondering for a moment. Oh, I have some unpainted ones. Do I have to paint them? No, they're painted automatically. So it's all good. I wonder if it tells you stuff about it. Wait, there's details. Okay, so it's kind of like Sticker Stars Museum, which I really liked hanging out in, by the way, because it was so... It was a peaceful little area. This is a really nice area to just hang out in, too. So I'm gonna find a place where I drop off the enemy cards. So that's mostly... That's pretty much what I need to get rid of right now. Yeah. This. I'm going to finally see what they look like painted. Minji, blue, green, pokey, pokey, cheap, cheap, swoop, spiny. Fuzzy Beetle, Spike, Pink Sniffit, Green Sniffit, Yellow Sniffit, Blue One, Red One, Blue Shy Guy, Not Red One. I know I should have gotten rid of these like way sooner, like as in. I mean, halfway to this point, should have been getting rid of these something. But I actually forgot the museum existed until my cousin found out about it. I'm going to admit that. That's probably why I didn't get rid of them. Good news is, now I am. So they're not going to be an issue. I'm going to have more space for important cards. That will help me beat Bowser and whatever's coming up because it's probably going to be another mini boss or something. What is she cheap? Ancient attack. Turns out I need them later, I could just buy them back from the ringer.
You can test. You guys can see the cuts in the game. Now I know a reason for repainting all the spots. It's to collect music. Okay, now I know. <laughs> and I'm definitely gonna do that before beating Bowser. Cause I do want to have that complete. It'll just feel more like final about, you know. I'll feel a lot better beating the game if I'm actually beating it. So once I defeat Bowser, all the clear spots should be filled back in. Yep, it's the music. Oh, they have different ones. They have Kamek's theme too. Which I of course remembered from Sticker Star. And so I did give enough. Oh no. I want to be able to get a huge one back. I'm going to see what one of the paintings are because I unlocked one. Oh, well. Didn't expect this. Didn't expect this. <laughs> oh, hey, there's. What was it called again? Rugby Road? I don't think it looks exactly like that though. Art style concept. Is this real concept art? That would be so cool if they were showing the actual concept art. Yeah, this is initial Mario designs. planning before making this game. I mean, while they were developing this game, I was totally not expecting this. This museum is going to be awesome. I'm definitely more interested in finishing it off before I deal with Bowser now. This is so cool. That's the mountains region. Look at all the places. Yeah, this is Port Prisma, of course. And opening images. So I do have to get more cards. Donate to all the rest of these. I guess this was what Ruddy Road was going to originally look like, if I'm getting the name of this course right. I don't remember it looking like that. Exactly. That's definitely older. This is a really cool discovery for me. I've never played a Mario game that showed the planning stages within the game itself before. Wow. Okay, it's going to be a goal of mine to actually finish this museum before I fight Bowser now. This museum has convinced me to finish it before Bowser. I just hope I can beat this game before 
before summer ends. It's going to be a lot of work to do tomorrow. I'm probably going to try to do some extra stuff before continuing to the next level. Since I'm so close to Bowser now. Also, my cousin might come back soon after I... I'm going to upload another part we did after I upload this one, probably. Maybe. No, I don't have any points. I'm just gonna check. I don't see any huge cards here. I don't see any huge cards. So I'm not going to donate the huge card yet. Let me make a fine another more. Just complete the museum as much as possible before I get to Bowser. Maybe I will do the Rose Shampoo games. Those rock, paper, scissors thing, they give you a lot of coins. It'd be cool, max them out. <laughs> like my cousin did. Oh yeah, new music and stuff. I assume I have to go there next. Sure, so, I mean, we already had this part of the green area unlocked, yet the big paint stuff. Uh, I want I want to do this so bad. I see what's going to happen. Make the dragon so live now. <laughs> but I'm going to have to make myself wait for tomorrow. So bye for now. I'll see what I can do about the other colorless spots eventually. I'll probably, maybe I'll do some other levels first, and then once I get really, really close to Bowser, I'll start doing more stuff. I'll definitely return to the museum now to see if I get any more cards to donate. Of course, I'm going to get some, I'm going to get some coins. So I can do what I need to do. Can't wait to see what the dragon is about. I'm just going to wait impatiently for tomorrow again. And I don't have that right now. I'll figure that out later. It might be in one of the green levels. I would assume they would be green because I'm I'm missing a green one. Okay, that's all. Okay, there's definitely another part of the green area down there. That too. Will be coming later. Oh yeah, definitely do a turn here. I'm 
come here. I'll probably restore the spots in the inn first. Because it's going to be easy now. This is all going to come later on. I don't know when I'm going to fully get around to everything here, but it's definitely I'm I'm going to promise right now, it's definitely got me before Bowser. I'm going to try to remember that. Turns out I wasn't done recording the Admiral. So I went to Ruddy Road after I recorded to explore some other stuff. To explore it a little bit again because it's one of the first levels in the game and I found out something new. So I know this toad right here. Who wants to change of scenery because he doesn't like the city. So if you go to Ruddy Road, to the cafe owner who never gets any customers and is always complaining about it. You would think, hey, maybe they could switch spots, right? I didn't actually see the full cutscene that happens, by the way. I reset, I reset the game as soon as I saw something special was happening, so I could see the rest of you. If you're watching at this point, that is probably not. I know how the toad in Ruddy Road feels. He barely gets any customers, I barely get any views on my videos. So I actually know how he feels. You know, I'm just hanging out in this nice little area again. And then this happened to be okay, let's see what he has what he has to say now. Give up on a dream. Can't do that. Yeah, those shy guys. Remember? Remember the shy guys? See, there he is from Port Prisma. And that's all I saw before recording. <laughs> And it's still messy from when the road was rolled up. Yes, switch cafes! <laughs> these, to these two toads are completely different. Nice, I got a ice flower card. Yay! <laughs> oh yeah, the sign's still upside down. <laughs> Too bad he still looks sad. <laughs> Don't be a stranger. And this is officially it for the day. I'm not going to discover anything else new because it's getting late now, of course. I had to start recording. It's 8, it's 8 p.m. now. I had to start recording late again because of the stupid forced power outages. There's going to be one more potential the forced power out tomorrow, and that's going to finally be it, hopefully. Yeah, I had to go on to 4 p.m. Else, I'm at risk of having the power turned off while I'm playing, and we don't want that, see?
One more thing, of course, I'm going to see how he's doing in Port Persona, and that's going to be officially it for today. For real this time. Nothing else to see today. Just a little discovery I made right after I finished. Well, right after I was intending to finish recording. I'm just going to put away this game for tonight. Oh yeah, one more thing I want to show. So my cousin discovered this for me. It could, I did for some reason. So on here, if they don't just do that. So if you jump, they jump. And they hate it if you hammer it. <laughs> Which we both found really funny, by the way. And just look at those faces. <laughs> also, this one big piece are still missing. If anyone can find it, it's up to you. Mom. I mean, it's you, Mom. If anyone can find it, it's you. Yes, Mom. I'm so glad I can make this toad happy. <laughs> Same stuff. No more sad cafe till in Port Prisma. And I'll save here. But right, for now, I hope I'll, I hope I'll get a good chance to record tomorrow because really excited for what's going to be coming up next. <laughs>